I have some news for you guys regarding the directory creation using this single prompt. So here we were working on the mosque directory in Australia in the previous video where we failed to create our directory using windsurf using this custom prompt right here that I provided you. So most in Australia listings, here is the data that we took from GFA scraper. So this one is very easy to use. So once you selected your niche or your Google Maps business category, so you just need to select that here. So for example, I'm just going to choose mosque and you choose your country and you choose 10,000. It won't consume the 10,000 if it's less than 10,000. So if you just want to grab everything and click on get business data. So in no time, you will see this generated, all your generated business listings here. I started using GFast Scraper because it's cheaper than OutScraper and it's faster result. So I am using this now to get all my directory listings. Now, it's good news here in open router, this Mistral Medium tree that costs really affordable per million token. It's doing a great job. You can see right here, this is the result. It looks really nice. It looks like it's being coded using Plot 3.7. And here you can see in New South Wales, it's loading the CD. Although just to be honest with you guys, when I prompted whole thing, it created this directory, but there was an issue with the JavaScript, which was very easy to fix. So this is the proof guys. So we are using, as you can see here, Mistral Medium Tree. That's what we use as model from Open Router. And you'll see right here, this is the result of single prompting using Mistral Medium Tree. And look at this, guys. Total of 0 0.29. We completed our entire directory. If you use Gemini 2.5 Pro or Cloud 3.7, those two models, no doubt, they really did a good job. You will be charged between 2 to $3, including the fixing of some issues. So maybe, let's say, up to $5. Uh, and then it's all clean, including the recent layout, everything. So at least, let's say, 3 to $5. But using Mistral Medium Tree, as you can see, initially you will be ended up costing just 0 0.29 you, with this entire directory completed. So here is the proof. We prompted this using the prompt that I keep providing you, this one right here. So what you do is copy this whole thing, copy this and paste that into a blank notepad just like this. And then you will be able to add, modify this key configuration. So change the variable accordingly based on your directory needs and then copy everything, open your VS code, and here in Klein, choose this Mistral Medium tree, and then prompt that. All right. So again, the first time we prompted that, it created everything. So look at this guy. So an ever fresh. So all this were created. Uh, look at the icons right there. And we can check one of the listings here. And like that, it's really decent looking. We have all this breadcrumbs and the back to the state and here look at the about and how the it rendered these attributes then the opening car so location address and here we have the nearby so let's check one of the states with multiple mosques so let's go to south wales and see the banks down we have four mosques and here look at the listings showing all the four mosques in this location and look at how it rendered the opening hours it's really great so when you check one of the listing right here we've got it rendered nicely the opening hours. When you scroll down, you have this nearby in Bankstown, New South Wales. You can navigate there so your visitor won't leave your site immediately. They can still browse some of the listings or mosques available in the same location. So you can fix, I, I just didn't like how it rendered the uh, news, but you can fix that. And here we're gonna save the hero section and the logo so it completes our design. Here in ChatGPT, you just need to mention generate a logo for the website. So it depends on the name of your directory. And then also you ask to generate a hero image for the website. And if you don't like, just mention which one you need to remove or add. And then download them. You name them as hero. So I have it here. So you name the image hero dash section the PNG and save that in assets. So let's do that. So here in assets folder, I'm going to drag them. All right. And then let's refresh the page. And there you go, guys. It's funny. The logo, we need to modify this, which is very simple. So, so here, I'm just going to mention, can you fix the logo in header? It looks really big. Also, can you remove the hard coded menu? So I'm saying that because it hard coded the menu. I don't have the menu yet here, but in the directory, you can see here, it hard coded the menu, which we don't like. So we will mention, can you remove the hard coded menu and render them dynamically from head, from primary menu in header and footer menu in footer.
So that's the fix we are going to tell Mistral, but obviously it won't cost that much. So here we ended up just 0 0.29. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna actually deploy this to a server. So as I mentioned in the previous video, we purchased this mosque-australia, that directory, the main, and we will host this in here in our hostinger because we purchased the plan of business so we can host up to 50 websites so remember there is a free domain on the main which we already use for defense contractors au.com but we can still host 50 websites although you need to purchase your domain here in if you can do it here in hostinger or in my case i just purchase it in nameship whichever you want so here to create a new website, so you go to websites, so you can have up to 50. And as you can see right here, that was the fence contractor's website. So we will be adding a new website right here. So we select WordPress and I'm just going to continue setting this up. So here, just select this create blank site. And since we haven't connected our domain yet, I'm just going to select this use temporary domain. And I'm going to show you how you can connect that to the domain you purchase outside Postinger. So now our website is being installed. And let's just check Mistral if it's completed our request. And you can see right here, it's wrapping up our request. So it's just showing the summary. So I think it, it's already fixed. Now let's just refresh the website. So as you can see, we're now 0 0.31, still very affordable, very minimal cost. I'm gonna, so here, uh, our WordPress in hosting is ready. So later we're gonna add a domain. So let's refresh this if, if it fixed the logo and the menu. All right, there you go. Look at this. The logo seems to be okay. So you can change the hero image if you don't like it. But for now, let's keep it that way. And it added some search here. It added something else here in the footer. Anyway, we can prompt that to be removed. The important thing is we deploy this in our server. So let me check if I add a new menu. So I'll create a new primary menu. So select the primary menu, create menu. All right, that's created. Now go to pages and add a sample page. So let's do about as, let's say hello and publish this. And now let's add this as one of the menu. So I'm just gonna add this in primary menu and save this. And let's refresh how it looks like. Oh, there you go. It seems pretty. So if you want some inspiration in the menu, you can paste a screenshot. But for now, this is going to be fine. I think when we add another one, contact us, it will be next to this about us. So that's fine for now. So you can change the name of your site right here. That's very simple. So you just go to settings general. And here you just change this to mosque. Australia. Anyway, you're gonna do this in the actual server. So remember, I am working here in our local WordPress. So you need to do this everything locally so that you will be able to run client because client, it will access your local files, not your server files. So you have to do everything in your local. And once you're satisfied with the result, then that's the time you deploy that to the server, which I'm using Hostinger because I'm able to set up up to 50 websites in that business plan, which is very affordable. Now to add a domain in this staging website. So as you can see, this is our temporary URL. Now go to your H panel again, your hosting your panel. And here, go to websites. So here, you can change the domains. So this one, I need to type my domain right here from Namecheap. So just type this in. And here, click this first option. Do you own this domain? Use it. So I'm going to select that. This domain is registered with another provider. You will have to verify that it's your domain. So we will do that. So click on next. Domain is added. So click on continue. And let's see how we're going to verify that. To verify a domain, you need to go to the domain portfolio right here and you will see the domain that you added. You will be able to add this by uh, clicking this check guide and you will see right here, it's provided as this name records that we will need to update in Nameship. So we're going to copy this too. Go back to your Nameship domain management and here in the name server, you're going to have to select the custom DNS and paste the two name server just like that and click on save. So the standard is to at least 24 hours, but most of the times you will just need to wait maximum of 15 minutes. And then this one will be able to detect that you already changed your name server. So I'm just going to tick this. I change my name server records and click on finish. So now we just going to need to wait for some time. So let's see what else do we need to configure in our MOS directory website. Let's refresh this. Yep, so the name is already corrected and here just to show you so the state it's loading the city and you can click on search well good thing we checked that it's not fixed yet so it's loading the city but when you go to one of the city and click on search so it's not going to that particular city but other than that everything else like when you go from state and check one of the states so it's loading the mosque and it has the breadcrumbs it has everything that we need so we are just waiting to 
this to be connected to our server to be deployed in our server and then we're good to go we're, we completed our fifth directory so this is our fifth directory in our 100 directories challenge this 2025 so we are now in directory number five and can just prompt this our client to fix the search button in the front page it's not working it's not going to the state so let me just prompt that really quick so here we're just going to mention that it's not going to the selected permalink value of the second drop down when you click the search button so let's prompt this so as you can see it mentioned that it's already fixed and now we're up to 0 0.33 again it's not that bad so let's refresh this and it should work now otherwise we will just fix it sometime because we just want to deploy this in the actual server so let's select the backwards marsh click on search there you go it's going it's fixed now really great so this is a great alternative for cloud 3.7 or gemini 2.5 pro because it's really cheap and look at the result it's beautiful right although it's not that great but it looks decent as you can see right here it's really decent because i want to deploy this so that i can show you guys how if your first time watching this video on how you can port your csv so let me check if it's ready look at this it looks like it's connected it's being detected now let's open this great guys it's connected as i told you it won't take that much time if it's your first time changing the name server of your new domain now we will be able to deploy this so you go to wp admin so i just want to show you how you can easily deploy the directory from your local going to your server we are gonna just need here in your h panel go to dashboard and here go to file manager so go inside the public html and then in the content to the teams just upload the custom theme you develop using client so this theme right here mosque australia so we're gonna upload this so i'll just need to upload the entire folder so click this upload and select folder here i'm just gonna select this and click on upload all right once it's uploaded go back here you will be able to see that in appearance go to themes and you see right here this is your custom theme so just activate it and now you're using your custom theme the next thing is we will need to Port the uh, custom fields first you install the plugin called advanced custom fields so we're gonna search that and click on install and search also the ultimate csv so we'll install this press result so once it's installed i'm just gonna show you how you can import this data right here this business listings that we took from gfast scraper so you can see here this mask that we took here from gfast scraper we have 355 listings it's three times cheaper than out scraper that's why i started using this all right, so I'm just going to quickly show you how you can import that and we will see our data here in our live site. So here, browse the CSV or the XLS. And in this one, we're going to need to select the Bacos custom post type, which is this one. But before that, I forgot the step. Once you install the ACF, do not forget this step. Go to field groups and you will see this sync available because this is the ACF fields, the JSON fields that we requested and just import this that's saved but well, i re-uploaded after i activated the custom fields and you will see the acf fields now available but don't use this advanced mode go directly to drag and drop because the important step here is this terms and taxonomies to be able to generate the correct hierarchy what we need to do because we are using states as the main parent taxonomy so here we're going to drag the state which is this address info region and then comma again drag the state and then ifen and then arrow to the right so this is going to create the child taxonomy or the children taxonomies for CP. So just drag the seat address info CP just like that. All right. And another thing very important here in WordPress core field for title, for C drag the title and for content here, drag the attributes. And to be able to have the featured image right here, you drag the main image. Now here in the ACF, so you just need to map everything. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So that's done and click on continue another important setting that you should not forget take this download post cost content external images to media and click on import all right now you can see it's importing let's just wait to complete at least 50 records then you can visit the site make sure you open this to a new link do not close this whenever it's still uploading so you can see it's uploaded 25 or 30 records now we're now in 40 records 45 i think that's fine open link in the new tab and there you go guys that's our beautiful team right here created using mistral medium tree right here which is very cost effective so we can check so it's just loaded to state for now just wait for some time to complete all the import right here then you will see all the data but for now look at this data so i think it's looking great and also guys make sure here in the settings go to permalinks again open it in a new tab if the import's not yet done 
So here, in the post name, even if it's selected, make sure you say changes so that it regenerate the HD access. So here, as you can see, permalink has been restructured. Now, let's go back to our page right here. Let's refresh how much dates have been uploaded. So still just in two states, so we'll just wait. So see here, it's loading the actual listing. Look at that, the opening hours it looks great. So all these details right here. So it really looks great. So I think I'll leave the video here. Hopefully you learned something from this one. Again, you can try this using Mistral Medium Tree, this single prompt right here. So you know the steps. I'll be linking to this prompt in the description below. So you can use it. Thank you and see you on the next one.